There are other people who perhaps also want to pursue a career in the arts. That was the chair. <laughs>
put dance movement into my everyday like exercise or fitness activities. And aerial yoga or fly is just that. Yeah. Just do it. Because <laughs> I get a lot of questions like, oh, am I suitable to join you if I have um, this or that? Or if I'm like a little bit scared, I'm like, just try it out. It really tests your trust and ability to kind of step out of your comfort zone. If you, so if you really want to just practice that kind of mentality of stepping out of your comfort zone, come and fly with me. <laughs> Growing up doing ballet, you go through a very disciplined lifestyle or way of life, especially in the studio. You need to learn not only about what your body is doing, so self-awareness, but also spatial awareness, what's going on around you, um, what you hear if the music is playing, the instructions that are being uh, spoken at you or to you, to take that in, processing it, and then perform. I think something like the something like ballet really teaches you a lot of life lessons when you think about it and so i think i've carried a lot of that through into my own personal life and the way that i do things and so i think that has really taught me how to be more um present and aware of what's going on around me but also what's going on internally when you're thinking about pursuing a certain dream career idea as small or as big as it is, I think it's important to first understand like what's the reason behind it, like why are you doing it, um, to kind of be able to be mindful in that way and to kind of map it out, I guess, like, okay, this is, this is who I am, this is what I have. Why should I pursue this passion and why shouldn't I do this? I guess what I'm trying to say is that when I decided to start Creative Core, what I basically said to myself is that I know that I have the energy to do this now. I recognize it in myself. And I know that if I don't take the opportunity to and take advantage of this like youthful energy, um, I probably wouldn't do anything five years down the line. I think, okay, so t to me, talent refers to the skill, right? The actual work that your hands can do, if that makes sense. I don't think you're born with talent. I think talent or skill, which I will use interchangeably, can always be learned and honed. But I think what is innate or inbuilt is an affinity to a certain something. I think everyone has their own likings and dislikes. Anything by Mitch Album. Currently, just finished reading Have a Little Faith by Mitch Album. Not sure if you've read it. It's one of the newer ones, I think. And I am now halfway through. What's it called? The next person you meet in heaven. Oh, no, no, no. First phone call from. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Next person you meet in heaven. First phone call you get from heaven. Something along the lines. You can like put it in text, the correct book. I am reading it, I promise. <laughs> Well, this is a while ago. Um, I watched, I used to watch Modern Family um, a lot and like re-watched episodes as well. Is there a villain in the in Modern Family? Right? There isn't really a villain. I would like to be Manny, perhaps. Because <laughs> he's so smart and like is so mature for his age. I'd love to see things from his, his point of view and his eyes. <laughs> Mangguang. Kolomi. Ugh. Pork. <laughs> Parasite. Oh, um, first thing I see in my head is like a flea, a tick. Like the body and then like the six legs. Six or eight? Six. <laughs> Mobile phone. Oh, internet? Creative scene in Brunei. Ooh, creative core. <laughs> So, I love bubble tea, 
but I also love coffee and I also love tea. So <laughs> like to like really. So if you look at our pantry, we have a range of tea, this selection of teas. Um, so I would say tea, I guess, in general. And favorite tea, um, Earl Grey milk tea, just a little bit of sugar, hot. Um, firstly would be Ozvian Osman, she runs Creative Space Gallery. Um, secondly, I'd say Lisa, Lisa Ahmad, who runs Kaleidoscope Studio. Thank you so much uh, for taking your time um, to do this interview. Thank you so Thank much, you Lance so much. and team. Sound guy! Well done. <laughs> Thank you.